the house smell like oxtails. Ah, uh, period. Pineapple on pizza. Pineapple. But at least my thighs match, because some of y'all out here. That's what today is. Ah! Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Wow. Just lay in it. Spin all day in it. Niggas don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. They take with it. I'm okay with yeah. it. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Before we get started with today's vlog, we do have a sponsor. A huge shout out to Fetch. You guys already know I love them. I have been using them for the absolute longest. So I'll just tell you guys a little bit about Fetch. They are a absolutely free and a super easy way to earn rewards for literally buying anything. So what you do, you scan your receipts. I got all mine here. Sad to say, all of these receipts are literally from like the past three days. Your girl shops a lot. But you scan any of your receipts in the Fetch app and you get points for purchases that you make. Even if you have older receipts, you can scan those receipts that are up to two weeks old. Once you collect enough points, you can redeem those points for gift cards. They do have gift cards to some of your favorite restaurants. They have retail gift cards, places like Target, Chili's, GameStop, Starbucks, Chipotle, pretty much anything you could think of, they have a gift card for you. Guys, not just those paper receipts get you points. For purchases that you make online with certain retailers, you can use your e-receipts and you can gain points that way too. So let me show you out of my stash of receipts how simple and easy it is. This is a Target receipt that I made a purchase with yesterday. I'm going to the app right now. I'm pulling up the camera. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm just gonna scan my target receipt. Make sure you get the full receipt with the total, the date, the logo of the store. If you see at the bottom, everything is green. Everything showed perfectly on my receipt. Then I just swipe up. It's going, it's going. And I got my points, y'all. I got my points, y'all. I got 25 points for my target receipt. And depending on what you purchase on your receipts, you can get way more than that. I've gotten hundreds and hundreds of points just from scanning one receipt. But guys, right now, if you do sign up for Fetch, I will have a link down below that you can click. You put in my code, Gina J, and when you scan your very first receipts, you get 5,000 points on me, okay? 5,000 points. And with that 5,000 points, they do have gift cards that you can redeem for as low as $3 five dollars and they do go up so on and so on so what i like to do i like to let my points build up to get a 25 dollar or a 50 dollar gift card and then that's when i just redeem my points get my gift card and i continue scanning so guys i will have all the information down below in the description box don't skip it start using fetch get your points get you some gift cards so you can get yourself some goodies just for shopping What is that? The Oreo. I didn't buy Oreos. Oh, you're talking about the Oreo yogurt? Yeah. I don't um, know. It's I in one of these bags. Yeah, it's in blue. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another vlog. I'm starting this one off late, but happy Monday. If you're new here, my name is Gina Janine. I like to think of myself as your thick best friend. And yeah, if you like today's vlog, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you. Ain't that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just picked up my order from H-E-B. I buy basic stuff. I don't do grocery hauls because, I mean, we all buy the same crap, right? Right. You don't want to see my spinach and my peaches. But you want to see this. These are so good. Like, y'all should literally get these. Like, these are the best. Get those for your kids. Yeah. The most unhealthy yogurt. But most delicious. Of course, the most delicious stuff is always the most unhealthy. Unhealthy. Salad is delicious, but it's healthy. Not all salad is healthy. Yeah, not salad. I be seeing some of them people who are like, New Year, New Me, start on my diet. And they have a whole salad with bacon, boiled eggs, ranch, a bunch of cheddar cheese. Yeah, I'm like, 
baby girl, you may as well have eaten a fried chicken sandwich if that's how your salad looking like. Don't no, sound like no new year, new me. Some people just don't know like proper, proper ways to eat healthy or to cut back. So they feel like a salad with slathered in ranch dressing and fried chicken strips is healthy. Just finished Pyra's vlog. She actually followed me yesterday or the day before on Instagram. And I'm like, what? Like, I love Kyra. Like, I just, I really do. I love her. Y'all know I've been watching her for years. Like, years, years, years. She started around the same time that I started. And I probably discovered her maybe like a year after that. <clears throat> and I've been, like, following her on social media ever since. Sorry, I'm eating, like, popcorn. So I have, like, stuff, stuff stuck in my teeth. But, yeah, she followed me. I'm like, what? Like, I love her. Many, many, many of my purchases were influenced by her. So, you know. But anyway, um, I'm almost done putting my groceries away. I have to separate my chicken. Because y'all know I buy big bags of chicken. And I just, you I separate them. I, I put them in freezer bags. And then I just take them out whenever. I usually put them like either seven or eight per, per um, freezer bag. And I usually get like maybe three freezer bags with this bag. They've been kind of skimping on it recently. I know inflation is a thing, but they've been skimping recently. Oh, and y'all, if y'all have an HEB, oh, hold on, see. If y'all like cold brew coffee and you have an HEB in your area, these are my two favorites, okay? This one is my number one favorite, Houston Blend. And y'all, this was also my mom's favorite. So the Houston blend and then the cinnamon hazelnut. Mm. This morning I went to TJ Maxx because I was looking for some more of that um, Cremo uh, soap that I showed you guys in the last vlog. A certain scent. I told you guys uh, which one. I can't think of the name right now. Which one was my favorite? Dang, it was in my last vlog. Anyway, um, I read up on skinny syrups. Now, this one right here is a classic. If you see it, get it, and they don't have it very often, it's a vanilla almond. This one is my absolute favorite out of all the ones that I've had. This one, you can use it by itself. You don't have to mix it with anything. It's so good. But this is a new one that I saw, French Toast, so I'm going to be trying that. And then I got Ice Cinnamon Roll. I've actually had this one in the past. The Ice Cinnamon Roll, I like to mix this one. You can, it's good by itself, but I like to mix this one because it's very, it has a lot of cinnamon in it. So I mix this one and then this is a new one that I haven't tried yet. Caramel fudge waffle cone. Oh, is this not for coffee? Oh, wait, this one's not for coffee. Wait. Okay, yeah, it can be for coffee. But if you see, I was wondering why the color was so dark on this one. You see this, it says ice cream collection and it has a picture. I don't know if that's a, like a latte or a cup of ice cream. I don't know. But they say these you're supposed to be able to drizzle guilt-free on top of your ice cream. And then this one you can see clearly is a cup of coffee. This one clearly a cup of coffee and the other one a cup of coffee. So, Okay, y'all. Oh, excuse me. I'm just writing out my menu for the week. This just helps me stay organized with like, so I don't have to think about like dinner. It's um, their dad's weekend, so I don't have to worry about anything for Friday and Saturday. Sunday already passed, it was yesterday, but I don't have to worry about anything for the weekend because they're gonna be with their dad. This is basically just what I do for the kids. So like, I didn't even have to write today down. I mean, it's 6.40, I'm about to start cooking in a minute. Um, well, not in a minute, probably like an hour. So I'm just doing baked chicken, macaroni and cheese, baked beans, and then I'm gonna make myself a salad because I'm not gonna eat any macaroni and I might do a small little scoop of beans, but I'll probably just do like a salad with the chicken for myself. Then the oxtails tomorrow, I already have them in the refrigerator thawing. 
with some rice and some uh, greens. Wednesday is like a no cooking type of day. So I just have wings and french fries. Those are frozen. I'm going to put those in the air fryer for the kids. I'll probably eat a salad that day. And then on Tuesday, oh, no, it's not Tuesday. Thursday, I'm going to cook salmon, rice, and maybe like egg roll to go with it. And I'll probably do some type of like a teriyaki glaze over the salmon. Kind of like an Asian meal. So, yeah, and I'm going to put this on my refrigerator. So each day, I ain't got to think about it. This Y'all, planning ahead meals i've been doing this for like a long long time it just makes life so much easier and this week the kids don't have any um basketball practice well ethan is trying out with a new team tomorrow so he it's kind of sort of practice ashton she's in her transition week so she has no practice so winter ball just ended and they're about to start spring slash summer ball and it lasts from february all the way up until the end of June, I believe. End of June or early July. I can't really remember. Damn. Pulled the last straight out. But yeah, so they start that next week. But games don't start for her until March. So, yeah. Okay, so I'll just put that on the refrigerator. I actually, for Sunday, I just wrote fast food on there. Just because when they come back on Sundays uh, from their dad's house, it's usually like really late. So nine times out of 10, he has already given them dinner. But there are those, you know, rare occasions to where he's like, oh, we've been busy all day. We've been out all day. They haven't eaten anything. So I'm just going to buy them fast food. So that's what I have written on there. Y'all. Oh, let me show you guys. I got a package. I'm going to unbox it with y'all. This is an unboxing. This isn't a haul. This is an unboxing because it's one item and it's a luxury item. Now, why did they put this luxury item in this massive box? Look, it's like three times the size of my head and you're going to see how small it is. These, these companies just love to waste paper. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't understand. Let me get some scissors real quick. So, well, they had it boxed so pretty. It just kind of slid. That is so. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's a receipt. I wrote myself a letter. I forgot about this, y'all. This item was a pre order item. So, I ordered it in advance and it didn't ship until February 1st. And I was like, do I really love this item enough to pay for this way in advance and wait for shipping? And I'm like, I'm going to surprise myself with like a little note. Ah, period. What that say? Fly shit only all 2023. Yes, yes, yes. Why did it just make me so excited? I forgot I did this. I, for I literally forgot I wrote myself a note. Oh, this is so cute. I'm about to, oh, I should do a little. Okay, wait, I'm going to do a little uh, Instagram thing. <laughs> I should have done, let me do a reel. Hold on. Let me do a reel for Instagram. Like a real unboxing reel. And then, damn it, I cannot. Why did I do this, Gina? Gina, why'd you do this? Because if I'm going to show Instagram, I might as well get paid for it, right? <laughs> right. Child, I do not remember how they had this thing on here. It was like this. Let me turn y'all off for a minute. Hold on. Y'all, I was so busy making that reel. Ashton helped me. She was my camera woman. So y'all go show that reel some love on my channel. I mean, not on my channel, on my Instagram. At Gina Janine, you should already be following me. Duh. But I'm just saying, go show us some love. So the unboxing is... Dun, da, 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 some sunglasses. Y'all saw that big old box just for some sunglasses. The case is very cheap. Like, this is not quality at all. Like, they are out of line for this case. 
when I tell you Louis Vuitton has a good case, um, Gucci has nice sturdy cases. Prada really doesn't have, this is like on the level of Prada. This might be worse than Prada, honestly. Anyway, it's some sunglasses. Who really cares about the case? Cause I don't store them in the cases anyway. I do keep the cases, but I don't store them in it. But look at these sunglasses, y'all. <gasps> look. <laughs> so when I say fly shit only on 2023, this is exactly what I mean. And y'all, I cannot even wear, I still can't wear sunglasses right now. And I'm not okay about it, but I'm gonna kind of put them on my face to show you guys. Look, look at, Oh my God. Oh my God, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Ooh, they have a cute Saint Laurent fanny pack. Girl, this is cute and the price ain't bad either. Look at this fanny pack. It's a basic, but it's like chic. I like that. And like I said, the price, the price is not too bad. It must be really little. No, it's not, look. Look at it on this person's back. Can y'all see? Is it focusing? That's cute. I need to, we might revisit that. <gasps> oh my God. They are out of line. Y'all, they raised the sunglasses by $100. Wow. <gasps> Y'all, I don't think it's they're worth. I don't think it's worth it for this price. No, it's really not worth it for the price that I paid either. But y'all raised it by a hundred dollars. Okay, if if you're interested in these sunglasses by Saint Laurent, they are called the Blaze sunglasses. Okay, that price is sick. Maybe that's the perk of doing the pre-order. You pay for it before it's even in stock, but you get a better price. I can't, like, I can't. Like, I, I'm, that's, no. These are more than the Louis Vuitton sunglasses that I have. These are more than my Chanel sunglasses. These are, these are the most expensive sunglasses that I own. I ain't pay this price. I didn't pay this price, but now that they're worth this price, oh my God, bye looked at my actual receipt i said a hundred dollars it's a hundred and forty dollars difference 140 plus tax hey besties i am coming in today's vlog sorry i had to cut in but we do have a sponsorship thank you so much to arabella hair for sponsoring this portion of today's video they sent me over a gorgeous a gorgeous colorful wig mm. Mm, I can't wait to install it. First of all, let me show you what comes with your unit. You get a goodie bag, lashes, edge brush, edge bands, a wig cap. There's a couple other little goodies in here as well. But guys, look at this wig. A 24 inch red and black street wig. Oh my God, y'all look at the curls that already come. I might not have to do too much to this. Mm. So it is a frontal unit and it does have a band on the inside just for a little bit more added security. That middle part, HD lace, all of the details of course will be down below as well as the link straight to this unit, straight to their website. A coupon code as well. If you like the way that this wig looks on my head and you guys want to check it out, click the description box down below. Let's go ahead and put it on. Y'all know it's going to be real quick, real easy. That's all I do is these simple installs.
showed you in the beginning there were nice spiral curls in the hair once I put the hair on my head and started finger combing it the curls stayed this is a literally a wig that you can put on your head glue it down or not glue it down and run your fingers through it and be done girl what you don't have to cut layers in the hair you ain't gotta curl the hair you ain't gotta do nothing to the hair like literally, okay? I did put a curl in it just to show you guys that the curls stay. I curled this hair probably 45 minutes ago. I did not finger comb it or anything. This is just how it looks with the curls in it. So you can just let the curls just naturally fall if you want to, or you can kind of run your fingers through it a little bit, whatever desired look you're going for. But guys, this wig looks so good. I did not do baby hairs. I don't think every wig needs baby hairs. If you are the type of girl that wants them, then you can definitely do that. I just didn't want to. I did pluck the edges and then I used a little got to be. To me, this is still like a glueless wig because if you guys know got to be hair glue, it literally only lasts for like a day or two. Okay, it's not like it's ghost bond or whatever else that is out there. This is just for temporary use. So I didn't make sideburns either. This is just how I installed it, the edges. I did put a little makeup around the perimeter, a little bit of concealer in my parting. And y'all, that is literally it. This is Valentine's Day hair. This is the perfect hair for that, y'all. It is beautiful. So guys, once again, huge shout out to Arabella Hair. Everything will be linked down below in the description box. If you love this unit, which I know you will, go ahead and click down below, use my coupon code, save a few dollars and get this look. I mean, it's thick, it's beautiful, holds a curl, and it's just a super simple unit to install yourself. All right guys, let me know what you think. I'm about to go take me some cute little pictures and let's get back to this vlog. I got me and my. Did you just scoot over? Oh my gosh. Ethan's back there somewhere, guys. He scooted over. But anyway, good morning. Happy Tuesday. I'm in line at Starbucks. My trainer, I don't have training today, but my trainer wanted a cold brew coffee. And there's a Starbucks not far from the gym and Ethan school. So we just stopped here in between. Hi, 42. Hello. Good morning. Thanks, you too. So that's why I look crazy right now. I have on my bonnet. Y'all know I don't leave the house with just a bonnet on, but I got on my bonnet with a bucket hat covering it up and my hoodie on. This what he got. I just dang, she ain't put the lid on all the way. Just a medium cold brew. What is, what is a medium cold brew? Just cold coffee on ice. Yuck. Plain. I said y'all want nothing in it. He said no, black. I'm like, okay. Okay, I'm back home. I'm ate a little bit of breakfast. I'm preparing dinner already, even though it's still morning time. It's not even 10 a.m. yet. Uh, got my oxtails, bell pepper, onion. I'm gonna let this marinate for a little while 
because I'm going to cook them. Y'all have seen me make oxtails a bunch of times. This is Ethan's favorite dish. Oxtails, oxtails, oxtails. They're just so expensive that I only do them probably like once every other month. But so we're doing them today. So he's happy when he saw them in the refrigerator uh, thawing out. He ran and gave me a big old hug. <laughs> but Ashton doesn't like them. It's the craziest thing. I'm just doing this is uh, garlic and onion powder. Ashton doesn't like them. And I think it's mainly because Ethan loves them so much. This is pepper. That that's why she doesn't like it. Because her favorite restaurant is Olive Garden. And every time, like, I give them options, y'all want to go eat here, 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 Olive Garden, da 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 He always like, oh, I hate Olive Garden. I hate Olive Garden. Boy, you hate it because your sister loves it so much. So, and then we're doing minced garlic. This is uh, minced garlic with lemon and basil. This is the wet garlic. The way I do my oxtails, y'all, my Jamaican boyfriends would never. <laughs> He doesn't understand me making them in a crock pot. I've made them on the stove before, but I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want that tedious work. I want to be able to, I sear them on the stove just to get them brown on each side. And then I'll put them in the crock pot. He, he, not you, he, no, oh, this is, um, oxtail. It's called Moe's Magic Dust Oxtail Seasoning. And no, if y'all are wondering, I don't add like salt because all of these products have salts in them. And when I cook them in the crock pot, uh, the liquid that I use is beef broth, which has salt in it. So, we not, we, y'all know how I am. I don't add extra salt. If I don't need it, I, and we don't miss it. You don't miss it. Once you start cooking without it, and you realize you don't need like real salt salt. And yes, my hands were washed prior to this. If anybody's asking, washed a few times. Just because you don't see it happen doesn't mean it didn't happen. Okay? Some people be in the comment section, but Gina, did you, did you? And I'm like, yes, of course. Yeah, I gotta condense footage down to just one hour of footage. It was done, okay? Just because you didn't see me eat today, eat breakfast, I ate. Just because you didn't see me brush my teeth today, I brushed them. And just because you didn't see me take my first shit of the day and I smell the stink, just because you ain't smell it and see it, don't mean it didn't happen because it very well did. And lastly, I'm adding in liquid smoke and Worcestershire sauce. Like I said, these are oxtails my way. And you ain't gotta go by the book when you're making something that you know tastes good. You ain't gotta go by the book by certain recipes. You could do it your way. And the way you do it might be fine, but it might be different from other people. The way I do it might be different from you, him, her, she, whoever. As long as the outcome is good, then it's always right. All right, so I'll probably add more of this to the liquid once I start cooking. I'll probably put this in a crock pot around one or two o'clock, somewhere around there. So it'll be marinating for about four hours. I'm eating in bed. This is how the oxtails turned out. They cooked for about seven hours. I just put them on top of some rice. Y'all know I cook my rice inside of chicken broth. That's why it's kind of yellow like that. And then some baked beans left over from last night. I was gonna make some greens with this, but I decided not to because I was being lazy. Y'all know I never eat in my bed, but I'm watching my trash TV, Baddies West. Y'all already know. And it's 9.30 at night. I have not picked y'all up for the entire day. I haven't done anything today um, except for work, run errands, and yeah, that's really it. So I'm probably not going to pick y'all up for the rest of the night. Sayonara. Mmm. morning guys of course i've been up since what time did i wake up maybe 6 30 7 probably fell back asleep for like 30 minutes i really woke up around like 7 30 
Ashton was catching a cold last night, or it could have been allergies. I'm not sure what it is, but I kept her home. Ethan, I kept him home. Also, he said he felt real sore yesterday from basketball. So I'm like, y'all might as well just both stay home. Anyway, I've been up. I've just been literally watching TV, responding to emails, getting my video ready that's going out today. Um, yeah, that's about it. Eating a peach. I bought regular peaches and white peaches. Have y'all ever had a white peach? I didn't know white peaches were a thing. Now, I guess I've seen white peach juice, like Tropicana white peach, but I did not know like a white peach was a thing and I had bought some the other day and they are so good and juicy. This is a regular one, but that white one, when I tell y'all so juicy and it's not as sweet as these, it's a real like mild peach. I know y'all probably like, Jamie, you late, you late, you late. Yes, I am. I know. Okay, it's it's fine. I, I just discovered them. Okay. Where's the key at, mommy? It's in the middle console of my car. Remember, in the middle part of my car. It's only one key by itself. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's inside or it's like right there. Right where the cup holder is, baby. You'll see it with the Wendy's keychain. Her and Ethan are about to walk to the mailbox because her package came in the mail. Amazon said it's in the mailbox. So, um. Waiting on my trainer to text me back to see if he has any openings for later today or if I'm just going to make up for today on tomorrow. That's usually what I do. If I miss a day during the week, he usually has me just come make up on Friday. And he's doing like a special training class this Saturday for free. But when this video comes out, it's already going to be over with. So I apologize. But he is doing a special training class absolutely free this Saturday. He does do this um, every so often where he does free group personal training. But y'all follow him at Yada Fitness. I tag him all the time when he's in my videos. And y'all, he just became an author. My boy is an author. He has a book published that just dropped yesterday. Okay. Now, it did say you can read it for free because I guess the type of account that I have on Amazon or Kindle or whatever, it can read for free. But I went ahead and bought it. It was only $9.99. I'm like, let me support the homie. So. But I will leave that link down below for you guys if y'all are interested just to support. Um, he's a first time author. And it looks like it's a kid's book. But the lesson taught in the book is like anybody can use that lesson no matter the age. So it's a really easy read. It's really cute. Like, I'm just so proud of like my people who are like doing shit. You know what I mean? He's now an author. And he recently got his real estate license. My girl Jennifer yesterday, J. Kareen, hi bestie. She hit 15K on her YouTube channel. So that's a big thing, hitting 15K. 15K on her YouTube. Lily, my girl Lily, yours truly, she just hit 100K on her second channel. So now she has two channels that are over 100K. Like, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. People are like, it's it's like a lot of people that are out here like doing things, doing big things. Taja, y'all know Taja, she's a um, YouTuber. I haven't met her in person, but me and her are social media friends and we just be, you know, we be talking to each other on social media. She just got her new apartment, luxury, luxury. And I actually was just watching her um, vlog of her decorating. Just got her luxury apartment. She started a, a scrubs line, like, Big things popping in 2023. I love to see it. I love when people who I actually love and adore are doing big things. So congratulations to everybody. So, but like I said, his link will be down below if you want to just support, you know, or if you want to follow him on Instagram, if you want some personal training, you know, he done got my body. He done got my body right and tight. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, let me finish. Um, doing what I need to do get my morning started I'm even though I'm eating this peach I'm about to make me some chicken sausage and some um I think I'm gonna make some Ezekiel toast because this ain't gonna cut cut it y'all not that a fashion Nova package just came in while we were sitting here so let's go ahead and open it I had a credit with um fashion Nova that's the only reason why I bought something because in my eyes, Fashion Nova does not have those good sales like they used to. They used to have like 30 and 40% off every day. Now you might be lucky if you catch a 10% off. First thing, this brown set. Ew, I don't like this shade of brown. 
It's like dusty. And why it looks so little? Look at that. This look like it fit Ashton. Maybe it's just like hella stretchy. I don't know. We're going to try it on though. I saw these jeans. They were on sale for $15. And the top to go with it was on sale for $6. Why did I get these? I don't know. I mean, they're not ugly. Ooh, they barely stretch though. These are like real denim, like $6. And it looks so little, oh my God. What next? I thought I had, yeah, here we go. This dress was on clearance for $7. Vacation dress, y'all know. Vacation dress. <sighs> what is this? Oh, I forgot about these parachute pants. Oh my gosh. These not gonna fit my thighs. And they don't stretch at all. Some of the reviews were like, run small. I saw one review that said, oh, they have stretch to them. Oh, these are not gonna fit. These are not gonna fit. Let me just put my thigh on this one real quick. These are going back because they were full price. Oh no. No, 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 look at that. That's as high as it goes. Mm -mm. Okay. And they're so cute. Look at the cut of these. You see how it goes into like a V in the middle? Mm -mm. I didn't choose the thick thigh life. The thick thigh life chose me. <gasps> but at least my thighs match because some of y'all out here. My thighs don't match. Looking like a tomato on a toothpick. But I ain't gonna gossip. You ain't heard from me. This is actually cute. I love how long the pants are. I don't have the uh, bandeau top on. I'm just holding it up against myself because I don't feel like putting it on. But y'all see it? This is cute. The jeans are very stiff. I wish they were like leggings or, or super stretchy or something. But they fit good. Mm -hmm. This will be a little look with a little pop of color. And I got it for like 70% off. Like I said, the jeans were like 14, 15 or something like that. Originally 50 top was something. I don't know. Anyway yeah let me let me tell y'all what this is called so if y'all are interested it is the act natural denim bandeau and then these are the act natural jeans okay i don't know how i feel about this one i initially bought it to wear it as like a going out outfit but i honestly think i'm just gonna wear it as like a, a everyday outfit with sneakers um i don't know i'm just not too thrilled about it but it's super stretchy look how long the sleeves come y'all know i appreciate a long sleeve because i have long arms i got long legs and you can see it's like bunched up at the bottom so i mean if it's good it's cute yeah. you want to close the garage yeah i made it three i i just stepped back i made it and then I shot, actually contested it. She even touched the ball and it was touching it. It just went in. It went straight in. I, I, and, I, and I made that. I'm finally making myself some breakfast. Uh, this is the sausage I'm making. It's chicken and apple sausage. I've never had this brand before. Y'all see her smelling like a little wet puppy. We play it outside. I'm just playing. She ain't smelling like no little wet puppy, but she smells like outside for sure. My hair is so wet from the rain. Go take your shower. I'm about to take a bath. Oh, you want to be on camera today? No. Oh, you want to be on camera today? Look, his hair went Yes. Can I take it back in your back? What? Can I take it back in your back? My back isn't big enough. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're not a good. Can I have some gas? Go ahead, baby. I don't want to. I just wanted to taste that last night. Oh, sauce for you. You ate the other one, baby? Ashton? Oh, yeah. You had it all? Yeah. You are greedy. I beat him by one. I beat him by one. And I was trying to tell the camera, and I'm making some. I'm but one! Ashton. 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 Ashton
actually ask the you. The one! Why? Oh my god. Yeah. Y'all have too much energy. For, for, for kids who are sick, for kids who are sore and don't feel good, yeah. where Ashton go? Yeah, yeah, okay. I ain't gonna say that. Mmm, that look good, mommy. Okay, that was good. I'm full. Y'all, it is raining cats and dogs outside. I wish I could show y'all. Y'all should pro probably can hear it. My house has smelled like oxtail since last night so i have a candle burning here i have a candle burning in my room i just i don't like this is the type of smell it though it smells good i cooked the oxtails last night clean the pot out clean put everything away i wake up this morning house still smells like oxtails y'all know when y'all like stand next to somebody and you can tell that they smell like their house not like they stink, but it's like you smell food on them. To me, that is absolutely disgusting. And the way my house smells, it seems like if I left the house, I would smell like oxtails. I don't want to go out the house smelling like oxtails. I feel like it, it's like now in our clothes. So I'm burning candles. I sprayed, <laughs> I sprayed the couches, my bed. I sprayed everything down to kind of like get the smell out the air. I don't like a house that smells like food. I don't, I don't know why, I just don't. My house is supposed to smell like cinnamon and peaches at all times. New nails, new nails, new nails. Y'all, okay, I'm watching Annie Drea. She's a vlogger. Anyway, I have a question for y'all. Cause this is what she's talking about. So she's dating a guy, they're not, committed they're not they don't have titles of boyfriend girlfriend yet not married nothing they're they're let me not say nothing because they're dating okay she's dating this guy y'all he told her whatever you're eating you need to slow down how do y'all feel about that like now i have had my boyfriend tell me that my actual fiance actually ex-fiance at this point but yeah saying mm, you might want to slow down you might want to you know cut back on what you're eating you might want to pick it up at the gym i've had that guy tell me that but a guy that i'm just dating to say back away from the plate put the fork down put the cheeseburger away he ain't say all that but basically he said that in nice terms how do y'all feel about that do y'all like a man's honesty or i don't know i'm the type me personally don't tell me what I already know. I look at myself every day. I don't need you telling me what I already know. Just like I have a pimple, a pimple popped up, right? There we go, you see it right there? I don't need anybody telling me, you have a pimple on your face. Bitch, I know. I look at my face every day. I know I have a pimple right here. I know when I've gained weight, nigga, I don't need you telling me. How y'all feel about that when people point out the obvious which is actually kind of rude you know especially if a man points it out you know it's just kind of like we go through certain things certain times of the month it is so much easier for men to lose weight than women a man can just pick up basketball start playing basketball two days a week he's gonna drop weight us on the other hand we gotta cut back on our sodium cut back on our sugar smaller portions we need to work out less carbs less calories less fat drink more water and then still we still might not even lose weight you know it's it's so much different for women's bodies certain times of the month we're more bloated we carry more water i just i, I don't like when men point things out like that about women i don't i don't like it i don't like it because what if i talk about your receding hairline like that's something that you go, that men go through that women don't. I'm not going to talk about your receding hairline. You know what I mean? I'm not going to talk about why your beard don't connect. Why it just look like cotton balls spaced out. You know, I'm not going to talk about that, nigga. So stay off of women's issues, okay? I digress. Anyways, I like my new nails. They're super cute. 
back to the basics you know okay let me go back to watching her vlog if y'all don't watch her she's hilarious and her editing skills are impeccable her name's annie drea super cute fashionable i love her makeup her lip combination right now i need to look on my phone to see if she tagged it down below because sis it's giving that's my alarm I'm about to do my um, post-op consultation for my nose. The kids are asleep, <clears throat> so I'm going to go in the living room and do it. I was just trying to have my computer charged for a little bit more. Okay, lunch meeting. Child, not this thing saying it don't work. So I'm about to try on my phone now saying something about the latest browser, something, something. I'm about to do it on my phone, which is annoying. Join with video. Okay, microphone. Zoom would like to send you notifications. Don't. Okay, now, I think I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you and see you. Okay. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Okay, she'll be right with you, okay? Okay. Thank you. Got them. Doing all right, can't complain. Back from a world tour? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going on another one soon. <laughs> How's everything been going? Every, everything's been good. Um, I still just don't know what I can and really can't do. Like so far as is can there I? Anything that you haven't done? <laughs> um, I did my full like skincare regimen for the first time like a week ago, but I don't know if I can. Can I use those like strips, those pore strips? Yeah, it's I, been a month, right? I, today makes months. today makes seven weeks. Okay, so yeah, you can use the pore strips now um, to like clean out the pores. I'd rather you do that on a regular basis than do like extractions or somebody's like, you know, pushing on your nose. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a healthy way to do it. And then regular skincare program is fine as well. Um, you can um, do any exercise that you want to do at this point. Um, the only thing you want to avoid is, like, scuba diving or prolonged, like, underwater swimming. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Every, everything else at this point, if it feels good, you can do it. So I can just, I can blow my nose normally... Cause I've still just been like holding the tissue under my nose and just blowing. Yeah, Cause usually I, I like grab my nose one side and blow. If you blow your nose like this. Yeah, that's what I usually do. <laughs> okay, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. But, but what, what would help you out is um, using some saline and blowing that out. You'll get more out anyway. You probably have some sutures that you can't see that are still dissolving in there at this point. Um, that are almost gone and are probably building up a little mucus. Um, okay, because I noticed like I, I do develop like real large boogers in my nose now that I used to never have. Yeah, some of it is, most of it's probably from the sutures that are in there because um, the mucus collects on the little tails of the suture. Oh, okay. And then, um, and then they just kind of build up and then you're also more congested now. Because mm -hmm. he just had surgery. So the combination of those two things. And then the the inside mucosa, which has little fingers that move things from the front to the back, it's it's still a little stunned, you know, because of the surgery. So usually the second, third month, those things like completely recover, but they're still they're still working working out what happened. They think he did something to them. I you see, know? okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're mad at you, they're like, What'd you do? Yeah. You they're like, oh, you did something good. You know, right. Right now, they're just mad at you. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, so but yeah, everything's been hard. good. It's still, you know, like you said, I still just have like swelling and the no my nose is still a little tender if I like wash my face too hard or put on my makeup too fast. Yeah. yeah. But so it's normal. You still had surgery. You just had surgery. Yeah, I'm like I know it's normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but I think you're, you're moving a little faster than most people. Yeah. Um, it's probably because you've had procedures, you know, it 
take care of yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so I think you're doing great. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I'm still waiting for the three month mark when I can wear my sunglasses again. Yeah. I know. I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's cool. I'll wait. Well, at least it's not the summertime. You know, it's not That's the true. Call anything you need. I'm here for you. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Consultation. Why do I keep saying consultation? It's not a consultation. It's a my post op visit. It was done pretty straightforward. I really didn't have any questions or concerns or anything. Oh, excuse me. The only thing was I wanted to start using like Biore strips because y'all know I, I use those regularly. Um, I'm only seven weeks post-op. I know my nose is still supposed to be swollen. It's still going to be tender. Um, and I, That's really it. Like I haven't had any issues. Like literally this has been like perfect. Um... I will say that, like, my nostrils... Oh, my God, is that a booger? I'm so sorry, y'all. Anyways, I'm sorry. TMI, if y'all don't want to see a booger up my nose, I can't blow it out right now because, I, like I told you guys, I'm still, like, real sensitive. It's still, like, like that hurts just pushing on it. Anyway, like I was about to say, my nostrils from this angle are even. But when I look down... Let me try to look straight forward. It's hard to be straight forward because I'm looking at y'all over here. When I look down, this nostril, like, come, it seems like it's down a little bit more. Y'all might not even can notice. It's stuff that I notice. I can see all my peach fuzz and everything shining because of this light. Let me put the light back, the light down. Yeah, this nostril, when I hold my nose down, it seems like it comes down a little bit more. But it could just be me noticing every little detail about my nose now because I've had something done to it. So it's like, oh, I notice this dips down more here. I notice this is a higher right here. This is lower right here. This is that. This is that. This is whatever because I had something done to it. But I know if you guys, sorry y'all, if you guys watched my initial um, rhinoplasty video, that video started out with him doing close-ups on my face, telling me the left side of my face is higher than the right side. He was like, this cheek is more upswept. This side of your face looks more aged than this side. This side of your jaw is more up. This side of your jaw is down, your nostril here. He literally pointed out, even my eyebrows. He was like, this eyebrow is lower than this eyebrow. And I'm like, I ain't never paid attention to that. I never paid attention to that. But when you're up close and he has it magnified 15 times and he's like, right there, look, right there, look. And also, it's so crazy. When I blink, this nostril would cave in. Never in my life noticed that. Never in my life. Let me show. He took a video of it and sent it to me. He was like, look. He was like, this nostril flickers. And I'm like, for 41 years, I ain't never noticed that. Hold up, let me see if I can find the child. I take so many pictures and videos, it might be hard for me to find this video. But while I'm looking for it, I'm just saying all that to say, like, um, I don't wanna, here it goes, I found it quick. That is so weird. Look at this, can y'all notice? Y'all see it, y'all see it? Never, never have I noticed that about myself. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm still in the beginning stages. I'm still healing. Um, I was actually watching a girl's rhinoplasty healing journey. She was like two years um, post-op and she was just talking about how much her nose changed in that first year. She was like literally after the first year, that's when her nose stayed the same. But um, so far, so good. I like it. I think it's cute. This is exactly what I wanted. Very subtle. I wanted it to still be an ethnic nose. I didn't want like a tiny little Tinkerbell nose. I didn't want, you know, I wanted my side profile to be better. And I wanted my nose more narrow. And I wanted more of a bridge. And I feel like I still look like I have a black nose. That's exactly what I wanted. And I'm seven weeks post-op, so it's still going to change. And... It's still swollen. So I love it right now. He says I will love it <laughs> six months to a year from now, even more. So, yeah, guys. Now, let me call Jennifer back. 
Let me call this heifer back. Hey. Hey. Hey, what's up? Girl, just finished my, um, what's that, my, my post-op. Zoom. I was on Zoom. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. What'd they say? Nothing. He was just basically like... While I was falling asleep, looking at uh, the girl with the fucked up teeth got on there. She's gonna change these. Really? Show your aunties and uncles. Got my pit bikes. These are the glasses she wanted. We ordered them. We originally ordered them for Christmas. They were on her Christmas list and they got like lost in the mail. So Amazon gave me a refund and we reordered them with a different seller and they finally came in. Ah, they look cute on you. Let me see, baby. Oh, so you can change them to black also. Nice. They're called Pit Viper. That's what all the kids are wearing. Okay. It says uh, these are best using for skiing, um, shark wrestling. They're trying to be funny. <laughs> um, you look, you can adjust them going behind your ear. You see muscle that? Muscle making. Oh, no, I didn't know. I did not see You that. can pull this out. Just pull it. Anyways, y'all, I have a package from Saks. Y'all know I'm still going hard on their designer sales. Set. So I got a Heron Preston two-piece outfit. So this is what it looks like. It's just a little gray top, and it just says Heron Preston right there at the belly. And then the matching leggings and it says hair and preston right here and then it has their tag there thank you oh you're welcome baby you're so sweet oh y'all i'm looking this is actually a 700 dollar outfit the shirt is 340 and the bottoms are 380 so plus tax that will be a little bit over 700 dollars. that's crazy because 700 dollars for leggings and top that's just stupid Hey y'all, I'm back and I'm put together. I just did a really quick face, curled my hair like super quick. This side is not cooperating, but I ain't got much time. And I'm going to a little last minute Galentine's, little Galentine's gathering. So I'm wearing this red crop sweater that I got from Target. It was the Future Collective collection. And these are some high rise leather pants that I got from Ross. They're like wide leg. And then these are those boots that I got from Fashion. These are like the perfect little booty. As you, ugh, I ain't flexible y'all, but you see it has a little short gold heel. <laughs> and then I just have on gold jewelry. So I'm put some gold rings on. I already have on some, my gold LV hoops. These pants are a little big in the back, like they buck out in the back. They're not big, they fit. But they buck out at the waist a little bit. So I was thinking about putting a belt on. I just hate to wear belts with, uh-oh, there we go. Oh yeah, this is the Kalana Barfield Brown collection. Her sweater, her crop sweaters were like super cute, so. Anyways, and then I'm just wearing my black um, YSL bag. I was like, I wore pink to my last Galentine's. Let me wear red to this one. And I did a like a reddish lip gloss, but it's actually coming off like kind of pink, but it's fine. So this is the outfit. Oh, glad I did that. I have a tag right here. Why they put so many tags on these pants? It's crazy. Let me get my rings. You won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. I'm telling everybody, everybody. Just a couple of chunky rings. I'm gonna put a little bracelet on. I wasn't going to at first because my sleeves are long, but I'm gonna go ahead and put one on. You never know, I might be rolling my sleeves up. So. I don't think I showed y'all this. I'm not wearing this tonight, but I found this at Dee Dee's. It was a day I wasn't vlogging. It's a cuff bracelet. Y'all look how pretty this is. Isn't that so pretty? $5.99 from Dee Dee's. Yes. Did 
that on. Put this cuff on. I haven't worn this elephant cuff in so long. I got this at TJ Maxx. Like a little statement piece. It was $16 at TJ Maxx. And I have this little like Rolex type bracelet on. Super stretchy. I don't remember where I got this from. I want to say AliExpress. I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. It, it may have been Shein also. Anyway, let's go. The plan is to not drink tonight. That's the plan. So we gonna see. Oh, baby hair is acting up. Okay, let me go. How did I almost forget a fragrance? Uh, we're gonna wear the Carolina Herrera. I have not worn this yet. So we gonna wear this tonight. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Okay. Relax, Jenny. You ain't going on. You ain't going on a date now. Shit. Hello. Hello. I'm going to do um, regular valet. Yeah. It's 12. 12? Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me get my keys. Give me one moment. I can give a phone to 20 for you. To what? What? 20 at the phone. No, I, wanna, I only want to pay 12. Yeah. Ah, shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five of my earnings. The fear in my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're lying. I've been wandering all day. I tried to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind wouldn't leave me. I tried to get by, but I'm burning. And me, I, my mind, it runs. All these thoughts have troubled me. What's up, y'all? I'm at Starbucks. I'm editing. I've done this a couple times before, just going to come in here and editing. And I kind of like the vibe, you know. I stay focused on getting my work done. I don't have like a set office in my house that's like a quiet space. And when I'm at home, it's like I be doing other stuff. So I'm gonna sit here probably for like two hours, maybe. Yeah, like two hours and edit. I got a iced coffee, I got sugar-free syrup, one scoop of matcha, and then pistachio foam on top. Oh, and almond milk. All right, just finished at Starbucks. I edited for two and a half hours until my computer died. Why didn't I bring my charger with me? I don't know. So yeah, I still have probably about another mm, 45 minutes of editing to do. Maybe 45 minutes to an hour of editing to do. So I'll probably just do that tonight. But I need to come prepared next time. Like, why did I not bring my charger? Like, why, Jenna? You knew your, your computer was not all the way charged. And you literally unplugged it and did not... Br anyway, I don't do this very often, so... It is what it is. Next time I do this, I will be prepared, okay? And your girl is hungry. I, it, it took everything in me not to get a grilled cheese sandwich. Y'all know I put a lot of the girls on the Starbucks grilled cheese sandwich. It is so good. It's so buttery, garlicky, flavorful, crispy. It's so good. But it is so bad for you. My goal that I'm trying to achieve, that does not fit in there. At least not today, it doesn't. I think I'm about to... It's 12.30 now. Hmm. I don't know what I'm about to do. I have a Didi's return. I have some stuff I need to take to the tailor. I have a couple little errands I could run. I could go upgrade my phone, but I want Ashton to be with me because if I upgrade mine, I'll upgrade hers too. Ethan is on his dad's family plan. Ashton is on mine. So Ethan already has a newer phone than us. Ethan has a 13. Me and Ashton both have a 12. Um, yeah. I don't know, girl. What, what I'm gonna do? I need to eat. Should I get a good salad from somewhere? I have not had salada in a minute. So I just want a little fresh salad. A little avocado. A little shrimp, you know. Nothing too major. It's chilly out here. It's just the camera, it's just the camera. People just staring at me. Oh, great, there's like a little line. It is lunchtime though. 
That will be all, mommy? Yes, thank you. Uh, tomato, two scoops of tomato, cucumber, red onion, um, black beans, bell corn, and uh, bean sprouts. And that'll be it from this area. That's what makes sense. was wondering just the top from Dee Dee's leggings from Dee Dee's shoes from Nike and my pimple patch from Mighty it's probably time for it to come off I put it on last night but oh and this is how you know this hair is black 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 look at it with my shirt shit black I'm at Marshall's looking for a body care as usual. I don't be showing y'all my body care. I show y'all my skincare a lot, but not my body care. But I be in the body care a lot. Anyway, I seen this. It's a shower steamer, citrus and mint. It says wake up energized. You turn your hot water on, you drop it in, and it makes a fragrance and a color come out. Do y'all think this is a waste of money or not? I mean, it's only $6, but I think that's cool. Cool. I wonder, does it make your body smell good too? Or is it just the scent, the aroma? Hmm. It doesn't give you much details on here. I'm going to put it in my basket and we're going we gonna to ponder on that. I do need a new body scrub. Mm, I don't know about that one. This one's coconut lime. I bet this smells so good. Wait, more shower steamers. I've never seen these here, y'all. It's like something for children, though. Like, it's giving me kids. Unicorn dreams. This one's mermaid. I don't, I don't know if this is for an adult. Y'all let me know down below. So I see this soothing gel. I opened it up, and it's literally like the consistency of a hair gel. And it's written in, I don't know what language that is. So we about to pull out um, Google Translate. So it says how to apply frequently to sensitive and dry face, arms, legs, parts of the body, such as red spots, issue caused by sunlight. Oh, it's just, it literally soothes your skin from the sun. I don't need that. Can y'all recommend me a good melatonin gummy? They have some here. I think I'm going to go ahead and try this one. The price isn't bad. $5. And they're sleep tight gummies. They also have this one by Nature's Truth. So, but I'm going to try this one. Oh, that's a collagen gummy. What do y'all think about Goldie? Is this worth getting? I've never tried this brand, but I think I've seen a lot of the girls use it. this morning around like 7 30 7 40 and we're just getting home i just been on go mode and it's five o'clock so i'm tired didn't even thaw my dinner out your girl got some little skincare going on just some jelly under eye patches and i'm finally able to do a nose pore strip y'all know these are my favorites Oh, it was my first time since oh low early December. Oh, so we're gonna see how it goes once it dries. Cause it's still it's wet. I just put all of this stuff on like five minutes ago. But anyways, y'all, guess what today is? Ah! You you got what I need. You is back on, on Netflix, season four of you. Now, if you guys do not watch you after y'all watch this vlog, I'm about to say y'all turn my vlog off. Now, don't turn my vlog off now. After you finish my vlog, y'all need to start watching you. Start from season one. It is crazy, but it is so good. Trust me, you will want to binge watch. The first episode, 
you might be like, what is this? This is something kind of slow. But baby, once it gets going, oh, ooh, it's so good, y'all. It's so good. So the first half came out today, which is like six episodes or something like that. Then the second half comes out mid-March. I hate that they do that now, but it's fine. It's fine. It, it gives you a little suspense and, you know, because I will watch the whole the whole season in one weekend. Like, and I'm sure a lot of people do that. So they started breaking it up, which is stupid. But anyway, oh, I cannot wait. After I cook dinner tonight, I'm going to get an episode in. Maybe two. I'm so excited. I have uh, my fish thawing out. It's probably thawed out by now. So I'm about to just cook some salmon, egg rolls, and rice. Like a little, little Asian dish. So, yeah, that's going to be dinner. Ashton's already said that she doesn't want to eat anything. So, y'all know that is Miss Picky Pants. My baby Ethan, he gonna eat whatever is in front of him. Ashton, on the other hand, I'm like, oh, you're not eating what I'm cooking? You know how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? <laughs> I think I told y'all I found the salmon salad again at Whole Foods. They only had the big serving, so I bought it. It was only $4, $4.90, which is super cheap compared to this turkey salad. Is this turkey or tuna? Hold on. This tuna salad container was $11. Same size. Is it the same size? No, it's a little bit less. This is $4. And they had two different kinds of salmon salad. They had a spicy one, which is this. And then they also had a, it was called a celery. I hate celery. A celery uh, salmon salad. So let's try this one. It's spicy. And this one's good. It has cucumbers, some type of red pepper, green onions. This might be finely diced celery. I don't know, but I, ha I hate celery. Just as long as I got the crunch, I'm good. I could even eat tuna on top of little slices of uh, cucumber. Wait, how much you pay for this? $16, so please don't waste it. If you don't want it, I Like the take ingredients it. or like the meat? Just the salmon alone was $16. Oh. You hear that? Do you? I don't think y'all. Oh my, do y'all hear that? And I don't even like salmon, but I might even like this one. Do y'all hear that? Like, oh my gosh, she's. All right, I'm about to cut into this. She is so extra, y'all. I don't like this. Huh? You don't like the egg roll? Mm -mm. I ain't even try. I already know I'm not gonna like it. All right, ready? Look. Look at that cut. It's hard, and it goes straight in. Oh my, all right, I'm about to try this, cause y'all know I hate salmon. My picky baby. Okay. Oh, this is good. You like it? That's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's gonna be good, mixed up with the rice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Eat the egg roll with some sweet and sour sauce. You might like it. I hate sweet and sour sauce. Oh. This stuff don't even look Ooh, so hot. Look like restaurant quality? Yes. Mmm. Okay. I got a glaze on mine. A pineapple. What is it? A pineapple lime glaze? Pineapple doesn't belong on um, real food. FYI. Pineapple doesn't. I have eaten pineapple on chicken sandwiches. Pineapple don't on pizza. Today when I went to Salada, I had a pine I had wait, pineapple in my wait, salad. Wait, hold up, you, wait. Are you my actual mother? Are you my actual mother? Because I don't think you are. First of all, what the heck is pineapple on pizza? That is a fruit on top of food. That was grandma's favorite pizza. Hawaiian pizza was grandma's favorite. And I like it. It's good. Okay. You should give it a chance before you knock hold it. Up, hold up. I love grandma. I love her so much. The pineapple on pizza. Pineapple! One of the best fruits ever made in the whole entire world with pizza. Let's take the stuff off. These have been on way too long. They're fully dried out. Like, they're not supposed to dry out like this. Don't do this at home, boys and girls. I was supposed to take these off an hour ago, probably. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. Ooh, <laughs> feels weird. Uh. Ew. My skin is still peeling. It, it peeled off a lot of dead skin. I don't want to show y'all this. It's going to gross y'all out. Oh. Oh, my nose is still like really peeling. 
I'll be back. Do y'all see my skin? Do you see my skin? It's glowing, okay? My nose, oh my God. My nose has not been this smooth in so long. Now I did start bleeding on my pimple down here cause I exfoliated and yeah, I started bleeding. So I did put another pimple patch on and I also used a gel soothing mask. It's by Truly. Mm, skin looking good. Anyways, I'm about to take these gummies. So I will let you guys know probably in the next video how they do me because we're about to end this one. We're about to wrap this on up. The weekly vlog is done. The weekly vlog is over. Tomorrow's Friday. So that starts the weekend vlog. So I am going to probably watch an episode of something. Maybe you, maybe a vlog, maybe not. I'm hoping these make me super sleepy in the next 30, 45 minutes. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Anything I mentioned in my videos will be linked down below. So never skip my description box. And yeah, love you guys. Bye.